Welcome back to Business Help in our Excel beginner's tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be going over how can we analyze this data further. So we can use our different formulas here. We're going to be going over some formulas and as well as we're going to be going over a couple charts here. So our first one, we're going to go start off by clearing this of uh, styles. So we're going to go up here and we're just going to click on our normal. So now it's going to remove everything. We just need to add the accounting format back. So we're going to be going over how could we have done this without going over here and just manually doing this. So we're going to first highlight this grouping here. We're going to look at the conditional formatting here in the styles. We're going to go to the highlight cell rules. We're going to do, let's do greater than first. So we're going to do ones greater than zero. are going to be highlighting green to show that they were good. Then we're going to go over here for the bad ones. We're going to highlight the same grouping here. Conditional formatting, highlight so less than zero. Those are going to be up in dark red. So now we, that's what we did do the other time, but now we figured out how to do it without going through and doing all the good, bads. So maybe we have 50 cells instead of four. It's going to be a lot easier to do. So now that we got that done, so how do we average all this stuff? So we're going to go down here. We're going to make our average category here for average revenues, expenses, and profit loss. So we're going to first off by where do you find the average? At? You can find the average over here on this is a little formula here in the editing editing group. And you click on average. So now maybe I don't want that range. So you click, you just select which range you want. Hit the enter key. So that's going to give us an average of $45,000. So now here, I'll show you the second way here at the expense. So you can go to the formulas tab, click on the, now it pops up the function library grouping. So we're going to go over here and it's going to be in the average here. But we don't want to average that. We're going to go over here and select this for data. And there, we got our average for our expenses. So now we're going to, need to use our average for profit and profit slash loss here. We're going to use we're going to show you how to look up a function here. Maybe you don't know how to, a function. So we're going to go insert function. So now you can just type in average. F -er -rich. Okay, so now it just pops up here. So we're going to hit okay. So now we need just need to highlight what cells we want. So we're going to highlight our average off of that and hit okay. So now it's going to kind of calculate our average over profit and loss. So now that's how you quickly use average. So there's many other functions here that can be helpful, but that's going to be the main one to tell, determine, hey, which one's good, which one's bad, along with the a conditional formatting. So now we'll show you how to insert a chart because that's a very quickly way to look at how to do this. So we're just going to use the revenue here. We're going to just highlight that section here. We're going to go to recommended charts here in the insert tab. And we're going to just click on the clustered column here. So now we have, we'll just quickly drag this over here so we can see it. So now we have our uh, chart here. So how do we make this the same as our part over here? So this is how what we're going to do. We're going to select this. This is the trick to do it to make everything look nice. We're going to go over the insert. We're going to go to, we're going to go to the page layout actually. Go to theme. So let's go, we're going to pick a theme here. Let's use the office theme. Actually, we're going to go switch a different theme. We'll use the circuit theme. So now it changes everything. Our whole thing has changed. Now we're going to click on this. And as you can see at the top, we now got chart design and a format category. We're going to chart design. So here we got the chart styles here in the middle. So let's go and click this drop down arrow. And um, let's go with this one it kind of matches our theme a little better than the other ones did so now we got this so now how do we make this what do we want to name this as our chart title let's do this revenues for 2020 so click it to do that all you do is double click here and it will let you edit that section so as you can see this pops up on the right we'll show you how to use this in a later video but for now, we only need the basic parts here. So now, well, how do we add accesses? Access titles real quick. We'll just go over that real quick. Get this little plus sign on the top once you click on the chart. And over here, it pops up access titles. Either it pops up on the left or the right. 
depending on which side of the screen you're on. So now we're going to type in our access titles. So let's we're going to name this revenue in dollars. We're going to name this title. Um, we're going to name this location. So now we have our revenue in dollars and our location in here. So now, what other once we want to put our how do a uh, table of our our location and our profit loss? We just can't slide over here and highlight all that because now we have our revenue and expenses in there as well. What we have to do is highlight the location, hit the control button, then highlight your profit and loss. And we're going to go back to the insert. We're going to go to our recommended charts here. And now we can add a chart like that. So now we have our chart just like this. We're going to drag it down here. And we're going to shrink it a little bit so we can see it on one page here. So we're going to name this our profit loss slash loss for 2020. So now once if we just wanted to take this format and put it over here. So we're going to click on this cell, use the format painter, and then we're going to click over here on this cell. So see, the, the, you can copy a couple things there, just the labels and everything, but we're going to undo that. We're going to make this, we're going back to chart design here, and we're going to put the same formatting on. So now the only thing we're missing now is our labels. So let's add our access titles. And this is going to be our location once again. And this over here is going to be our this over here is going to be our profit slash loss in dollars. So this can be helpful. I hope it, this video was helpful on how to create charts, but uh, if it was, go ahead and hit the like button as well as hit the subscribe button and watch some future videos here. We'll be posting shortly and uh, check out this series. It's going to be helpful how to use Excel and basics of Excel here. So thanks for watching.